three servings of Aunt Jemima for breakfast and three servings of the Kodiak cakes. I'm just combining them. I'm making this a 1,000 grams of carbs refi day, which sounds like a lot, but for some people they bulk on that much. So woke up this morning, I was 195 flat, which is really light still. And I'm not too disappointed, even though I'm not gaining weight. You know, I feel good. My metabolism's running like crazy. I want to stay somewhat lean. But I just want to show you guys some of my meals today and that this is healthy to do every once in a while. And I'll leave my macros below what I'm going to be eating today. What I'll do is a strategy for this to lower fat a little bit and also lower protein and just jack the carbs up. So I'm not going to be eating anything crazy like 10,000 calories, but it should be around 5,000-ish. This is the Aunt Jemima light syrup. It is 26 grams of carbs per serving. I'll probably do about a serving and a half. This is the first time I mix these two pancake and waffle mix batters together. And it turned out pretty well. If I'm just doing the Kodiak cakes, I don't know, there's a certain taste to it. They're still good, but it's missing like that Aunt Jemima taste. So these turned out pretty well, but one thing with carbs and fats, I noticed that if I don't count macros in my off season, I eat so many fats and that kind of makes me bloated and that's what puts weight on me and gets out of control. So that's why it's a good thing that I reverse diet and count my macros because my body, you know, everyone's different, but I'm allowed to eat more carbs. Definitely. I could stay lean probably on 500, 550 carbs as long as my fats are relatively in check. I know some people though, like you guys might watch Goody Beats, who's Logan Delgado. He has to do keto because his body's really sensitive to carbs. So it all depends on who you are, how your body reacts to it. But for me personally, I'm kind of like in the middle of the, the road. Some people can eat 800 grams of carbs in their off season. I can eat about 450, 500. Now this is the first time I picked up cashew milk. The last time I was at the store, highly do not recommend it. At least for me, it's just something about the taste. I thought it was going to be pretty good because I'm a big fan of almond milk, but there's just a weird taste with this, especially in cereal, and it's about similar profile, 25 calories. Almond milk, the unsweetened, is 30 calories. So I'm definitely going to go back to almond milk. I just wanted to give this a try, but it's very different taste. Can't wait for these to get released. I love these shakers. The smaller ones, just easier to carry around and whatnot, but we are about to hit a back workout. I want to give you guys some tips. I haven't gone over these things yet, but they're very important, especially the what, things that I've learned in my back training because it took me about four or five years to actually really get that mind to muscle connection with it. So I'll show you guys now. Now back I think is the most complicated muscle to train, but I want to give you guys a few tips that are definitely going to help you out because when I started training 16 years old, I was completely doing it wrong. I'm probably doing the same weight as I was doing then, but I was just heaving weight around and just doing it completely wrong. But now I got that mind to muscle connection and I'm seeing growth a lot better. But the first thing is I, want, I like to imagine that my hands are hooks in all the movements I'm doing, whether it's lap pull downs or a barbell row. So instead of grasping the weight really hard with your hands, I like to think of it almost just kind of hooking it with my fingertips and I like to drive from my elbows then. So what I imagine when I'm doing a row movement is that my arms aren't in the movement or my hands and I think just I'm pulling back from my elbows and just driving them back. And then the second thing I like to do is keep my back lean slightly in all movements. So instead of, for example, a row and being 90 degrees parallel to the floor, I like to slightly keep it a little past 90 degrees. I think that just hits the back a lot better. I also like to do on rows, keeping the elbows close to the sides when I'm pulling in. So instead of flaring them out, that's going to hit a lot of rear delts and things like that. I like to pull right through my sides. And this workout, I had the craziest pump because I actually practiced what I preached here and just really focused on the contraction. I did all light work pretty much, but everything felt really good. And one more tip, when I'm pulling for rows and things like that, I like to think that I'm pulling toward my belly button because a lot of people make this mistake when they're doing any machine row or barbell row that when they're pulling they're going to do it toward their chest which they tend to hit a lot of traps and rear delts that's what that's one of the biggest mistakes i see a lot of people that are just trying to do too much weight they're doing all traps and they're not hitting the lat hard i would lighten the weight up and really focus on pulling toward your belly button and that's going to hit the whole lat really hard and you'll feel it too you'll feel the pump and that's what I've done over the years. I keep lightening the weight, honestly, and just get better pumps throughout my workouts. 
But those are just a few tips. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, just hit me up. So I'm craving some pizza right now. I know Texas is known for the barbecue and the Mexican, but I need a pie. I've been craving it. That's always my go-to cheat and just high refeed day back in Pennsylvania. So found a place four minutes away. You can get a large for like $6.99, so we'll do that. I gotta have a talk with this postman again. Boxes on the shoes. Let's have a better look at this. It was three toppings for six ninety nine. It's considered a large. I wasn't gonna get anything else besides cheese, but gotta take advantage of those free toppings. And I thought this was gonna be more like a mom and pop shop. It was more like a Domino's or a Papa John's. I'm not a huge fan of that type of pizza, but I should have figured that if you're getting it this cheap, six ninety nine for a large three topping, that it's gonna be like that because the type of toppings are pretty light. But you can't complain, $6.99, doesn't look too bad. And it's still pretty good. Now I'm also gonna sip on some branch chains while I eat this pizza, some lemonade. I love, fallen in love with lemonade because it actually tastes like lemonade. Zero calories, recovery, perfect. On to the last bite. It was okay, it kind of reminded me of Chuck E. Cheese back in the day, but Chuck E. Cheese was better. That was some good pizza back then. But I am gonna just take a break, watch the rest of the Pitt Penn State game because Pitt is actually my team, Pitt Panthers. So I'm gonna do that. Hopefully they get the win, and then I'll check in with you guys later. So you guys are probably wondering why my title says moving, and it's because in October 1st, when this lease is supposed to go through, I don't want to talk too soon, but we're pretty much cleared on it. We just need to make sure that I think the only thing they were worried about is that we're gonna make this like a gold shim, which we're not. Our main focus and revenue stream is distribution, and that's what we're gonna grow into. But we're still gonna have a sweet gym. But the whole moving thing, I'm gonna be going down there October 1st, right when we get that thing signed and ready to go and we can start moving in. We got two months free, but I wanna take advantage of that and begin going down, kind of turn it into a work day. So before I came down here, my work was like 50 minute drive away. It's gonna be the same exact thing. So we're about 50, 55 minutes from that location right now. I wanna begin, begin moving stuff down, like this chrome shelving right here. This stuff's gonna be there to set up sort of like a little retail shop in there. So if you guys are in the Austin area, even if you're not in the gym, you can come by, buy supplements, no shipping charge or anything like that. But I'm really excited for that. And we're probably gonna have to get some more. I'm not sure yet. But also this chair, this is gonna be my office chair. And the nice thing about the place we're getting is a lot of stuff's already there. They might already have desks and chairs there, but just in case if we need one, and then things like USPS boxes, and I'll slowly take down inventory every day. So it's going to be pretty sweet. I'm excited to show you guys a lot of business content because I just want to, you know, document and everything like that. But it's also going to be cool because I'll be able to be up there vlogging my perspective. And then my brother will be back here because he's still got to go to work for, I forget when it is, like February or March. But I'll be up there receiving equipment during the day, shipping out inventory exploring the city at the same time so it's going to be two perspectives we're probably going to still lift at the same gym and do edits and stuff together but it's going to be a cool you know a cool look at things i think and it's going to give you guys a good first-hand look at business and that content so i definitely think you guys are going to enjoy that refeed day meal number three frosted flakes now I know I was talking about, about the cashew milk earlier, but I found that if you put a little bit of syrup in there, just like a couple drops, it completely changes the flavor, it makes it a little more sweet and takes that like, I don't know what the taste is of cashew milk, but it's just like this nasty flavor that I don't like. Four servings of Frosted Flakes, a cup and a half of cashew milk, which is like 40 calories. And I'm not gonna count the syrup because that wasn't enough to really make a dent with the calories, but I wanna show you guys that this is a day of just not full cheating and counting stuff. This is a, something I do with my strategy with reverse dieting. So the great thing with reverse dieting is, at least for me, my metabolism is running so fast because I'm still tracking. I'm still in a structured environment of eating. I'm not just going all out all the time. And sometimes your body needs this because I'm not gaining weight. So I, what I'm gonna do is, because the last meal was so high in fat, the rest of the night I might just eat, keep carbs high and fats low. So I'm still in a structured environment. I'm just not going full out all day because I think some people do that on YouTube sometimes to get views and do all these cheat meals and stuff like that. But I wanna show you guys that this is my strategy and you know you can implement these days when you're reverse dieting if your body needs it.
Rice is cooking. I still need two more meals left today. It's gonna be high carb, low fat. I'm gonna head to Walmart right now, pick up a few things, and then when I get back, the rice will be ready, and I'll show you guys what I've been making with it lately. Every single time I've tried to use the self-checkout scanners here, I've probably tried 12, 13 times. They have not worked smoothly once, so we'll give them one more try. Please scan your first item. I got the goods, cookie dough, ice cream, and pretzels. Gonna mix it up. I haven't had that combination for a while, but I cannot wait to try it. And those scanners actually worked. Rice is now ready, and I'll show you guys what I make with this. This is what we got, two packets of roasted seaweed snack and then two cups of rice. I put some salt on there too and mixed it in. But what I do is I wrap the rice in the seaweed. You might have seen my brother do this already, but I've been obsessed with it since I saw him and I always do it now. I get pretty impatient with wrapping these, but I actually do double wrap this one. This is sort of what it would look like. I usually don't wrap them that great, but the taste is just so good. It's simple, but it's just really good. And low fat too. Seaweed, if you guys didn't know, it's one of the best things for you. A pack of these is 30 calories. Getting some work done right now, it's Saturday night. It's nice not having cable because if I did have it, it would there'd be a lot of pressure to watch college football and stuff like that. So I was even thinking about going back to the gym and just doing cardio for a while just so I could watch some of the games. But I used to be really into it, not so much anymore. But I love working around the clock on the weekends. I just love what I do. And another thing, I don't want to go back to my nine to five. One more meal left for the night. We got cookie dough ice cream, pretzels, and if I want to hit those thousand carbs, some gummies. Four servings of the cookie dough ice cream, two servings of the pretzels, and we'll say that's one serving of light syrup. Usually just estimate the syrup. A combination of pretzel and ice cream is perfect right now. But I'm gonna wrap this up. I'm about to hit my 1,000 grams of carbs. I went a little bit over in fat, so I'm gonna get like 970 carbs once I eat. One more packet of these gummy worms right here. Hopefully they're still good. They've been in the cupboard for a while, but we'll see. But I hope you enjoy this one. I wanted to show you guys how I shocked my body. My body was eating up calories when I was reverse dieting. So this wasn't just for you know, just to have fun and do a fun calorie challenge. This was what I needed for my body and I want to be there and give good educational advice for training, nutrition, and especially business coming up. So I want to produce good content. I just don't want to be someone that's just going to be doing a food challenge for the heck of it. And this wasn't a food challenge. This is something that I needed, needed to shock the body. And I just want to show you guys how I do that. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Gonna start filming again Monday when I go back into that warehouse, so I hope I get some good shots and I'll see you then.